Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. I hope you're having an amazing day. As you can probably see from the title, I have a massive pre-fall H&M haul and I've been going on a rampage of shopping recently because I haven't bought a lot of clothes um, until maybe the last month or so. I have been on like a really slow clothing purchase roll. I've been buying a lot of stuff but then also returning a lot of things as you know if you've seen some of my previous videos. So I'm back is a new season that is in, which means time for new clothes. I think by the time you're watching this video, we will probably will be closer into the thick of fall. So I did grab a lot more fall oriented pieces in this haul right here. And I'm excited to show you guys them because you know, fall clothes, new clothes, they're fun. Although, you know, I'm a true summer girl. I'm not quite sure when this video is gonna go live, but I think it's gonna be closer into like the midst of the beginning of fall. So I have a lot of new pieces to play around with and I'm very excited because there's a lot of trends in here that you guys may have seen from my previous hauls within the past couple of weeks um, and they'll probably catch on. So if you liked any of those pieces and you wanted new alternative options that you can get them from H&M as well because they kind of do kind of roll over. I had my eye on a couple of similar pieces from all the different brands that I've been shopping at so far. So let's just jump right into it. So something I do want to clarify is that I place a bunch of orders all within the same like three or four day span of time. So a lot of the pieces that you guys see today will be similar to ones that you've seen in previous hauls in the recent weeks. <laughs> Indicative of this one, which is a pair of Soup pants. As you guys know, in my mango haul, I got like a couple of pairs of soup pants and I love them. This one's different as well. The other one was like a camel and a gray. This one's kind of like a brownie green checkered print. It has like very, very finite stripes here. You don't really notice it until you come up close to it to take a look, but from afar, it just all straight up looks like brown green, I guess that's what you would call it. And this one actually has a slightly different silhouette than the other two pair of soup pants that I showed you guys from Mango. So those ones have like a very clean, flat belly, whereas this one has pleats that start immediately underneath the waist right here. So it kind of balloons out a little bit and gives it a lot vol more voluminous of a look. I did also find that these trousers are a little bit shorter than the Mango ones. So something to keep in mind, if you do like to wear heels with your dress pants, these ones probably won't hit the floor all the way down where your heels normally would if you guys are wearing longer trousers but you can definitely still get away with doing that tucked in tie look with these pants i love these it's a totally different vibe than the other two pair of pants i just showed you guys from my mango haul so i think i'm going to be keeping these ones as well i actually don't have that many dress pants that are wide legged a lot of my dress pants are skinnied taper cut or i think they're also it's also called like a cigarette or like a smoking pant. I have no idea why it's called that, but it has more of like a tapered silhouette going down your leg towards the bottom where the cuff meets at the ankle. And a lot of them are also either like an ankle length or slightly above the ankle. It's more of like that casual cutesy look. I wanted a very like editorial business formal look, which is why I've been going for these ones. And I actually love how these fit. Definitely keep it for me. Next up, I've been on the hunt for the perfect oversized blazer. I have a lot of blazers in different colors, but because I have a very slim silhouette, I find that oversized blazers tend to look like way too big on me. And if I tried to get a larger size of a regular size blazer, and it looks funny to me, like I took my mom or my grandfather's blazer because it's still like cut in, it just doesn't look disproportionate. So I'm really happy now that a lot of brands are actually coming out with oversized blazers that are like nicely cut, if that makes sense. And I took a plunge on a couple of them from H&M just to see how they would fit me. So the first one up is this beige one right here. It's a slightly kind of a flimsier softer material than what I would expect from a blazer. I typically like my blazers to have a more starched pressed look to them so it helps keeps its structure and because of this material it actually drapes a little bit over my shoulders right here. So you're gonna see the fabric kind of folding over as I wear it in the cutaway. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I actually wanted a very form-fitting structured blazer that was very kind of like bulky if that makes sense so because this one has shoulder pads in it but the material is thinner and it drapes it kind of creates like a draped over shoulder pad look like very 80s looking like a pi detective style and that wasn't the idea that i was going for i wanted a very structured silhouette um but was angled at the same time if that makes sense so i would much prefer if this material was a little bit thicker and starchier and had more structure to it so overall i think this blazer is going to be going back although it's really nicely made and the fabric is like super super soft if you like the oversized look without it being too editorial and too bulky then this is probably a silhouette that you're going to be looking for so definitely check this one out i'll let you guys know right off the bat right now this is the exact same blazer as the brown one but i also wanted to try it out in a black because surprisingly i don't have an oversized black blazer 
blazer. I have like a ton of beige blazers and white ones, but I don't have a black one. So I felt that it was due time for me to get a black one. And I figured if the brown one fit well, then the black one might as well. And surprisingly, the black one did fit really nicely. But once again, because it has that much thinner material and softer material, it does drape over my shoulder in places I didn't want or intended it to drape. So unfortunately, this one will be going back along with the brown one. But if you guys like this material and this fit, like I said, definitely check it out. It's a very, very well made and soft and comfortable blazer. Sticking to the realm of blazers, I've been seeing this style everywhere and I wanted to try it out for myself and it is the cropped blazer. I know it sounds ridiculous when I first tell you it's a cropped blazer. You're probably like, what is the purpose of that? Can you even wear that into work? I think yes, because it has a collar. It still looks very formal and put together and business appropriate. And it does look really chic and editorial and trendy at the same time. Um, unfortunately, it's a very similar material to the other two blazers that I just showed you guys. It's not as soft, but it is still fairly thin. It doesn't have that brush cotton quality like the other two blazers have. And it does also have shoulder pads in it. So it creates a really structured shoulder. And like I said, because the material is so thin, you have the structure here and it just kind of drapes funnily over top of the shoulders and creates folds there that I don't like. Overall, I love the fit and the look of this and the concept of it is executed quite nicely. But because of the material that was chosen for this I don't think it sits as nicely as it could have had H&M spent a little bit more money and gotten like a higher quality or grade material but at the end of the day it is H&M that is fast fashion for you so you can't exactly expect like the highest grade quality material but this is a perfect option for anybody who wants to try that crop laser look without shelling out like hundreds of dollars like other brands would typically charge for that style so unfortunately that one's going to be going straight back to H&M for me so as you guys know I am a huge fan of sweater vests right now I have bought a couple from Mango. I ordered in a couple from Zara as well and I saw some on H&M so I wanted to try them out to give you my review so that you guys will know whether or not these ones are worthwhile. Price point wise these ones were fairly decent. They weren't overly expensive and they're cute. They're soft. It is a trend piece um, but it's more of like a neutral trend piece. It's not too big of a statement so you don't want to spend too much on it but at the same time you do want to spend enough that you can get a quality piece out of it that you can wear over and over again and I got two different ones from H&M to try out. This is the first one right here. It has a lot of detailing on the front. There's a lot of cable knit going up and down the front here and then on the back it has like I think this is called pearl stitching I'm not too sure I used to do a lot of knitting as a kid and I can't remember what this looks like anymore but I like it because it has a v-neck at the top here it doesn't come down as low as the one that I showed you guys from mango which is nice so if you're not somebody who likes to have cleavage shown or too much of your chest exposed and this one's a good option for you and the sleeves actually are quite large here so you can fit a fairly decently sized dress shirt underneath if you like to wear a looser one that kind of hangs a little bit lower and gives you more of like a battling effect ultimately I didn't love how this one fit on me when I put it on it honestly looks like someone took a sweater and a pair of scissors and just hacked off the arms because this sits off weirdly to the side like this and the ends kind of just like poke out right here and it has like little edges and it doesn't look cute like you guys know those cap sleeve t-shirts that just kind of like curve over the edge right here it looks like that but with a sweater vest and I just didn't like the look of it and although this has a higher neckline, I think this neckline isn't as flattering on me compared to the lower ones in the ones that I got from Mango. So unfortunately, this one will be going back home. It is very, very cute though. So if you guys do want to try different styles of sweater vests, then definitely try for this one. It's more of kind of, I get more of um like a collegiate vibe from this one because it has so much cable knit detailing on it. Next up is a knit blue sweater like this. It's kind of like a crop sweater, but it's not really cropped. It comes all the way down. And I was actually inspired to pick this one up from a fellow YouTuber, Sinead, because she had a blue one in a more like a cable knit style that I really had my eye on. And unfortunately it was sold out by the time I got to checking out. So I picked up this one. It has a very similar color to it. And I thought that this would be a really cute replacement to that one. Ultimately, I don't love it. I think this blue comes out a lot more vibrant and vivid IRL than what I would prefer. I think I would much enjoy like a softer baby blue. If you guys are into the whole like vibrant pastel tones right now, then this is definitely right up your alley. But I already have so many sweaters in this like very basic cardigan cut style that I don't feel like this is going to be a good addition into my wardrobe besides the fact of just filling the void of coming into that pastel Scandinavian trend. So I think I'm going to pass on this one and actually return it to H&M, although it looks really, really cute and would be great for photos. I don't think that this is going to be a piece that I'll be able to keep in my closet in the long run and like truly love it and get a lot of wear out of it. It literally is just one of those pieces where it's like, it looks trendy and it's cute, so I'm going to get it. And I'm trying to be a little bit more smarter with how I'm consuming and purchasing fashion this year so this one will be definitely going back to H&M but if anybody likes this style I think it is adorable and if it is your style and this is how you dress every single day then definitely skip this one up because it fits 
every single pair of jeans and shorts that I've tried on with it thus far and it is a perfect addition to anybody's closet who loves this sort of color. Unfortunately, that's not me, so it's gonna be going back to H&M for me. Next up are a pair of jeans and I actually saw similar jeans like this being released um, by Levi's earlier this year and they're called balloon jeans. And you know what? Levi's are expensive and they're good quality, but this is definitely like a trend silhouette that I wasn't sure if I'd be able to turn into like an everyday style for me. So when I saw that H&M was releasing a very similar style and a slightly cheaper price point, I jumped on it. So it is this black wash version right here. They are very high waisted and as you can see, super, super high at the leg area. So these definitely are like balloons. They like balloon around your waist and as best as I could possibly relate this to, so you can vision it in your head, it's like clown pants. They just go whoop and out like that. So one thing I did want to note is that I don't know if H&M has been slimming down in their sizes recently or I have just gotten bigger, but I got this in a size zero and I usually wear it anywhere from a size zero to two and I can wear zero comfortably at H&M, but these were so freaking tight on. I just felt so uncomfortable putting them on. They were tighter on the waist, tighter on the groin area. I'm definitely not going to be wearing pants like this when I have my period, especially in those days, because it just compresses your whole abdomen and doesn't feel comfortable. And unlike the mango pants that I've been trying on, these ones just like really cut in at the waist the top hem here so it's not the comfiest to be wearing all around all day long so unfortunately I'm going to be returning these ones to H&M even though they're cute I think once again these ones are a little bit too trendy for me and I can't see them getting like a lot of longevity out of my closet and me wearing them enough to really get as much value out of what I paid for them but if you guys like balloon pants this is a very affordable option at H&M as opposed to the Levi ones and they're actually fairly well made as well the quality is really nice and thick and sturdy I think as long as you treat these well and you don't throw them around and get them destroyed they can last you a long time and pull off that Levi's balloon pants look without having to pay the Levi's pricing. Okay, I accidentally shifted my camera a little bit, picking up the rest of the clothes, so please bear with me if it changed a little bit um, for you on the screen. I also picked up another pair of jeans from H&M, and these are gonna be actually very similar to the Princess Polly jeans that I just got recently. It is this super high-waisted, boot leg style. So like really, really wide all the way down. It's almost flare, but it's not because more or less the whole pants and the top to bottom are the same width. So when I tried these on, they're soft. I'll tell you that. And they're also very high-waisted, similar to the Princess Polly ones. I'm actually wearing the Princess Polly ones right now. You can see how high-waisted they come, or you can just watch the video. I'll tag it in the card here somewhere if you want to see my review on those ones. But these ones are really, really high-waisted. And once again, I got them in a size, what size did I get? US zero, which I usually wear. And these are so freaking tight once again. At the waist, it comes up at the highest point here. I was almost unable to button these ones up when I zip them up. And at the same time, I don't know why, I think it's like the way that it's sewn from the inseam here to the bottom, from the top to the bottom and to the waist, it's really tight and everything just pulls on the seams and it gives you a massive camel toe. Not a cute look, so I would definitely recommend sizing up a full size in these pants if you want a more comfortable fit. Overall though, I don't know how that's going to affect the shape of the pant and if it's still going to sit comfortably on your hips. I think when it comes to this style of pant, it might actually be a little bit better to invest a little bit more. Um, I think jeans usually are designed to fit your body a little bit better and more of like a custom fit when you spend a little bit more money into them. Not to say that cheap jeans aren't worth it because you can definitely get really well-made jeans at an affordable price. It's just for some reason, these jeans and this specific style, it has to have like the right fit for it to fit comfortably on you. And these ones from H&M, even though they look so good on, I managed to get them on and I managed to button them up. They're just the most uncomfortable pair of jeans in the world. And I definitely cannot see myself putting these on like more than once without getting frustrated myself. So unfortunately these ones will be going back. I did order a very similar pair from Zara. So once my Zara order comes in, I'll be able to compare those ones for you and let you know how those ones fit and if those ones are comfortable for me. I did get another sweater vest from H&M and I actually really, really love this one. So this one looks like this. Once again, it is a white, very simple V-neck at the top. It goes all the way down and it actually has cuts on this side here. I am not the biggest fan of these sorts of cuts, but for some reason on this style, it just it works. So it's a lot deeper of a v-neck in the front than the other one I just showed you guys. And on the back, it kind of has like a very slightly dipped V as well. You don't really see this. Usually your hair covers this, so it's not the not the worst. It has massive armholes, which facilitates big balloony sleeves of any kind that you want to wear underneath. And I actually really, really like this one. So the material of this one's a little bit different. I think it's more of a, the polyester acrylic side compared to the other ones that I have that are softer knits. And I find this one to give more of like a sporty vibe. So this one definitely looks like a tennis club. 
and I get tennis clubs vibes into this. If I wore this with a tennis skirt and some sneakers, it would be right up my alley for that like athletic sweater vest vibe, whereas the other ones are more kind of like high fashion editorial. So since it's so different, I actually think I might be keeping this one because I love it. It's a completely different style for me than the other ones that I have. So it's gonna add a little bit more to the repertoire of my sweater vest. I think I actually will need to go back to my mango haul and cut down how many I keep from there because I definitely don't need like five or six different sweater vests, especially if they're all the same like white family. I only really need like two to three max, but I think I'm gonna keep this one since it's so different from all the other ones and I just love the way it fits, it's so cute. I would highly recommend this one to anybody who wants to jump onto the sweater vest trend and doesn't wanna to commit too much to it because this one is fairly affordable and has a very relaxed, comfortable fit to it. All right, you guys know my obsession with shoulder pads and when I saw this style on H&M, I had to get it for myself. So this is the shoulder pad sweatshirt and it looks like this, essentially shoulder pads up here and sweatshirt sleeves, arms coming out to the side like this. So when I first saw this, I thought that this was so cute on the mannequin. It looked absolutely amazing. And the issue might just be because of the color that I picked, but for some reason when I put it on, it looks like I'm wearing a Star Trek uniform, like in the spaceship. So I'm not the biggest fan of this one. And although I love, love, love shoulder pads, I don't think it quite works with sweaters. I think I'm gonna keep it to my muscle tanks and just leave it like that because I think that style works really well for me. Whereas this style just, it doesn't, it just doesn't, look cute it just looks like i'm wearing a star trek costume so if you guys are looking to build a star trek costume for halloween then yeah you can get it at h&m this is the top pair tailored with a pair of leather pants and you're good to go otherwise it might just be the color i might just have to try a different one just to see if it looks a little bit better on me i think there's like an olivey green color that might look cute but i think ultimately that color is still very star trekky so i don't know it looked cute in theory in the photos and on the model but when i tried it on it just wasn't my vibe so unfortunately this one will also be going back to H&M so I did get another cardigan I am kind of falling off of my sweater train and going more to cardigans right now and I don't have that many of them so don't come at me guys and I got this really really cute pastel a lilac one you guys know I'm not a very purple girl but when I saw the shade I just had to have it I think because the purple is so light it verges a little bit on taupe like you guys can't even tell on here the camera makes it look great but it's like a very light lilac color and i think this shade is so perfect to be able to transition into the rest of my wardrobe because it is so light and neutral that it doesn't really scream like a vibrant purple um in person when i wear it with like my blacks or my whites or my browns it actually kind of like fits perfectly now i don't know why but for some reason i ordered this in a medium i don't know if this also came in a small or an extra small i'll have to double check it might have been one of those ones where i went to go add it to my cart and the extra small small size wasn't available so i just put a medium in as a placeholder to try and see if i liked it overall though i actually don't mind it gives you like that very oversized vibe and i kind of really really like it one thing i did want to note that this is a wool blend material so if you guys do find that wool is itchy for you and your skin that's something to keep in mind this probably will itch your skin quite a bit if you're not wearing a shirt that has sleeves underneath it i primarily wear cardigans like this over top of like tank tops or t-shirts in the winter time so my skin usually feels all the itchiness of the wool and although i don't love it i can get away with managing with it it's not the end of the world for me but something to keep in mind if you guys do have sensitive skin and you're not the biggest fan of wool blend materials this would probably cause quite a bit of an irritation to your skin overall though like i love the fit of this i think i'm gonna try to see if i can get it in a smaller size just because material is so heavy i think over time it's going to start to stretch slowly as it hangs off of my body and i would not want this to get any looser than it already is because it is fairly oversized already but like it's the perfectly sized oversized so i think if i size down one and get my proper size once it drapes and stretches on my body a little bit then i'll be the perfect ideal oversized fit but overall i love this sweater i would have kept it if it was the right size so i think i'm gonna return it and go back and get the proper size for me okay so i had really high hopes for these pants and unfortunately they did not fit i am actually not going to even try them on for you guys just because of how uncomfortable they are but it is this faux croco print like pleather pants right here so they're really shiny <laughs> and they're long and these ones are actually tapered at the bottom i saw a similar pair at zara and i actually ordered that from zara as well so i can compare and let you guys know how they are but this is a very very thick pleather like it is not forgiving it doesn't stretch and it is very very stiff that being said i 
think it's just H&M overall that might be downsizing their sizes, but this was so damn tight for a size zero. I could barely get this on and I struggled to take it off. It was one of those feelings where I was like actually worried that I probably would have to cut these pants off because they were stuck to me. And you guys know how it goes when it comes to full leather pants. The inside lining is not usually the most forgiving. It's this like polyester kind of material that's soft and it really likes to stick to you. So once I got these off, I was like, I'm not putting them back on because I don't know if I'll be able to take them off the next time. But I was really, really excited for these because I love the crockle print on here, the fake crockle print. I don't have anything like this. All of my other pleather ones are just smooth ones and I wanted something a little bit different, but unfortunately these ones don't fit. So they will be instantly going straight back to H&M. I know I can probably try to size up and see if they fit. So we'll see if I get a larger size and reorder that one when I reorder the smaller size of that sweater that I just showed you guys. But otherwise, I'm just currently waiting for my pair from Zara to show up in my mailbox so I can determine whether or not those ones are keepers instead. And I'll keep you guys updated once they arrive whether or not those ones are worth it. I just have, I think, three things left and then we're going to wrap up this haul. I got really excited for this shirt and this is part of the shacket trend. I know this sounds so stupid stupid in my head. I think it sounds really dumb, but I guess it's considered a shirt jacket because it is a shirt silhouette with a jacket material. It's like a very thick kind of brushed felted material. I don't love this material. I find that it's a little bit cheap. It's a very similar material that they use for kind of like wool coats in the winter time when they want to make cheap ones. It's like a very flimsy felt. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't think this is meant to be actually worn as a solo jacket on its own, so I wouldn't necessarily so I wouldn't necessarily rely on this being all that warm for you. It's more kind of like an overcoat for like maybe the slightly chilly days if you just want an extra layer over top. But I love the fit of this. It is so cute on and the color is phenomenal as well. I wanted to point out that these buttons are actually snap-ons. So really easy to take on and off. I would hate it if I was wearing a jacket like this and I had a bunch of different buttons that had the button all the way from the top to the bottom. And those ones like always kill my fingers when I do it. So I love that. Overall, I don't love the material of it, but I really like the silhouette and it's actually really well structured. I think I might hold on to it for a little bit because I had a couple of other ones from H&M that were actually sold out in the size that I wanted to get. And a couple of other ones from Zara as well who were also not available. So I wasn't able to get my hands on those. So I may keep this one for now just to see if I change my mind and actually want to keep it around for a little bit. And if I do find a better alternative down the road, I will probably switch to that one and give you guys a heads up to let you know. But other than that, I am so glad I finally found like a jacket that I can wear over my jeans. I think this would be so cute with like bootcut jeans and like a sports bra underneath. It'd be really, really appropriate for pre-fall. Like the sports bra is a little much because it definitely is still summer, but I can throw this over top and keep myself warm for pre-fall season before it comes like deep, deep, deep fall and all we see are pumpkins and leaves everywhere. So keeping in line with the jacket trend, I also ordered this one right here. I actually was really excited for this one a little bit more than that one because I like the color of this a little bit more. It's darker and more of like a rich caramel color, whereas that one's more of like a beigey cream. And I think this one's a slightly better one for fall since I usually like to have like richer tones when it comes to my fall outerwear. Unfortunately though, I will be returning this one to H&M because the pockets on here, as you can see, are like humongous. This is a significantly more oversized fit compared to the one that I just showed you guys. And the sleeves are super voluminous. They're like humongous and they don't actually, I find, come all the way down to my wrist. They kind of stop like mid wrist, mid arm right here. So it looks like they're too short for me. And because of the volume in the sleeves, they just look like huge bubbles on my arms. You'll see in the cutaway, I wasn't the biggest fan of them. And although it's really cute, I think the silhouette is kind of what ruins it for me. This one is definitely made out of a better quality material, at least to me. I would much rather it be made out of this material than that kind of like weird fuzzy microfiber felt. But unfortunately this one, I think the silhouette is what kills me. Whereas the other one, the silhouette is like perfect. It's just the material that I'm torn on. Usually I can suck it up for the material if overall the cut works well and it's flattering on me. Whereas this one, all the material is good. I just don't like the way it looks and sits on my body. So I will definitely be returning this one for sure. We are down to the very last item from H&M. We're done. Don't worry guys. I am parched. I need to grab a drink of water after this because my throat is so dry from speaking. It is this beautiful dress right here. It's a very Grecian style dress with all this like drapery and elastication at the wrist at the waist and also at the neck. You guys will have seen that I bought a very similar dress earlier back in the summer from H&M. And unfortunately, even though I ordered an extra small, it was humongous on me. I felt like I was being swallowed in it, but more like I was wearing a medium. So when I found this dress online, I actually decided to go for one size smaller. Surprisingly, they had a double extra small. I think they just know that this dress runs a little bit larger. So when I actually 
purchased this and tried it on, it fit me perfectly. So something I want to know about this one, go a size down if you can. Once again, similar to the other dress, this material is quite heavy, so it's not gonna drape nicely and perfectly on you. Although there is an elasticated waist, because of the weighted material, it will definitely pull down and it won't sit directly on your waist. I found that this sat a little bit closer to my hip bones. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you want to be able to pull it up and create more of a balloon around your chest area. I know it kind of looks a little bit more flattering when you have that kind of like balloon figure, but yeah, just something that I want to note. At the end of the day, I think this is like a very beautifully made dress. The material is very soft, light, and cool to the touch. It has a lot of unique details, such as the elastication and piping at the wrist neck, the shoulders right up top here, and the waist, and would actually be perfect for any of those like formal dinners or galas that you may have at the end of the day if you're going to somewhere after work. It's even perfect for work. And I can actually see this dress accessorizing in so many different ways. That would be like phenomenal for anybody's wardrobe who likes that very simple, clean cut, but very beautiful and elegant silhouette. I can see somebody like Meghan Markle or Kate Middleton gravitating towards dresses like these. They're just very like, clean, polished, and formal, and they don't scream like any sort of specific brand or logo, which is usually what they kind of gravitate towards. So if you guys like that vibe, then this is going to be the dress for you. Also, I did want to mention as a reminder, guys, make sure you size down to get your true size for this dress. Similar to the other one, I don't know why HM decided to make these dresses a lot larger than all their other dresses. It just doesn't make sense to me. Just a size down. You guys will get the perfect size for yourself. So that is it for my H&M haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have really also been enjoying more of my like critical hauls that I've been doing recently. Um, I definitely don't want to perpetuate the idea that I buy all these clothes every single time and keep all of them to myself. As you guys know, I like to review them and let you know what I think about in terms of like the fit, quality, and the value of them before you guys go purchase it. Hopefully this acts as a valuable resource for you guys. But um, I don't know, do you guys like these style of hauls or would you rather just that I pull out pieces that I buy and just show you what they look like? I don't know, I feel like there's no value in a video like that, on my end at least, because when I'm watching these types of videos, I like to know whether or not a piece is worth it. Yeah, just let me know. But yeah, other than that, if you guys wanna see me more often, you can find me on Instagram. My handle is right here. I post every single day and we just hit 100,000 recently. So I'm so excited about that. If you guys are here from Instagram as well. Thank you so much for joining me over on my little community here on YouTube. And if you guys wanna see me make a fool of myself, you can check me out on TikTok. My handle is right here. I post quite frequently on there as well. So that's lots of fun content. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you.